couple of months ago, we reported on The Watchers, a new streaming series that was filmed at Compass College in Grand Rapids. Well, the students are at it again, this time shooting a feature film, and they allowed our cameras to go behind the scenes for this exclusive sneak peek. Watch. Sleep. 28 take two, side six. That's Richard Karn on the set of Carrie and Jess Save the Universe. Most remember Karn as Al Borland from the hit ABC series Home Improvement. Goodness gracious, Al. A show that this creative team is very familiar with. That was one of the few shows that I watched religiously. It was so exciting just to see him in person, uh, to see somebody that I'd grown up and just enjoying his, his great deadpan straight man to, to Tim Allen's goofball. Not even close, Tim. It was delightful to see his professionalism, his ability to improvise, his straightforward talent. He was just a, a joy to work with, very friendly, very professional, hilarious in the part. And yeah, I grew up on Home Improvement, so I was very excited when that when that idea came up to, to get him. Home Improvement originally aired 30 years ago in September of 1991. It may seem like a lifetime ago, but the setting for this new film goes back even further. You know, it's from the 80s. It's kind of a throwback, very bright colors and all that sort of stuff. So it's kind of just a throwback to those old 80s adventure films. I first came up with the idea in April 2018. I was watching a cheesy old science fiction film as I often do. I'm also a huge fan of like Bill and Ted and those those movies and I thought well, what if I took characters like that and put them into this other kind of like space adventure sort of scenario and what if I made them female leads instead. Basically it's two best friends Carrie and Jess and we save the entire universe from an evil space queen and her minions with uh, many adventures along the way. It's been amazing like the energy when you come in is just like Wow, like everyone is so happy to be here. Everyone's so fun. It's weird to go back to normal life because you leave here and not everyone is as excited. Unlike many of the projects filmed at Compass College, this movie is not faith-based, but it is family-friendly. I want so badly for my niece to love this movie. She's 13 and I want her to have the same kind of experience watching this movie that I had growing up watching Bill and Ted and Back to the Future and, and, and those kinds of films. That's a huge motivation for me on this. Exciting stuff. The film just finished shooting last month, so it'll be at least a couple months before the editing is done. But the director said he hopes to do a local screening of the film early next year. I, for one, will be there.